When I run this code, it will automatically create a unique 10 minute video for me. It will package it with a thumbnail so I can upload it to YouTube and get millions of views. Then when I do that, I'm going to be rich and I'm going to retire at 18. Now here's my thinking. You've most likely seen this type of video before. R slash ask reddit, what's the closest thing to magic in existence? Electricity. Speakers. It is just so crazy that magnets connected to thin paper like materials can vibrate in a way that can recreate exact sounds, music, voices, with just a little electricity. So these videos basically compile and read out Ask Reddit comments. And if you don't know what Ask Reddit is, it's basically a forum where you can ask questions and give answers. If you look at these videos, they have hundreds of thousands of views. Some of them have millions of views. These channels have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're making so much money. And it's all it is is a bot that uploads it for them. They have to put in like barely any work at all and they're making bank. So in this video, I'm gonna aim to recreate them. I'm gonna make my own text-to-speech bot Upload it to my own channel, and I'm gonna make as much as these guys are making. Most likely, actually, won't make as much as it, but we'll see how it goes. Basically, I need to connect to a Reddit API so I can get all the Ask Reddit data. Then I can select a thread and get all the comments within that thread. I can send each comment into a text to speech program, which will read it out and save it as an audio file. Then I'll create an image by overlaying the text onto a background and I'll compile those two together to get tiny videos of each comment. By having these smaller videos, it's an easy way to sync up the text and the audio perfectly. Then I can compile the smaller videos for each comment into one longer video and intersperse that with transitions. By transitions, I mean this side. I'll add an outro into the end so it makes a perfect video. I will use a program called Balkan to read out the audio and then another program called FFmpeg which is a really great tool for creating videos from the command line. So this is how I think I want each comment to look like. I'll do username up here and then I'll have the text here. And if we turn these off as well, I'll save this image to the computer and then I can overlay the text onto this. And then I was thinking about how I want the channel to look like and I found this on my computer. So this is some kind of like shitty art I made in art class a few years ago. And it's some study of some other artists or whatever, but I thought this would be good enough to have as a channel icon and then I can make a banner to do so. So this is what our icon will be. And then it's our banner. I decided to name it Horsing Around because like, it's the best I could think of. Put it out of my ass, really. <laughs> and then I've taken our icon, I've kind of messed with it a bit, and I made a transition that we can put in our videos. And then I found this like calm music on YouTube, which we'll put in the background to bring up the vibe of the video. And finally, I've made this outro for the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. So this is a channel, I basically repurposed an old channel that I had from ages ago, which had 63 subscribers anyway. So that's our starting point. The channel is horsing around and we have a little icon and everything. Maybe about section, which is a bit, you know. This is where we're going to be uploading to. I finished the code. <laughs> I know it looks really boring, but I couldn't be asked to make the GUI, so you're going to have to deal with this. Basically, it shows you all the popular Ask Reddit threads, and then you have to select one to actually make the video from. Then it shows you all the comments, and you can select whether to put that comment into the video. This is basically because some of the comments were kind of bad, and you don't really want to put them in the video anyway, so you can choose. Then after you've done that, it will go ahead and make the video for you. And then it outputs two videos, one without music, and then one with the background music. So this is what our first video looks like. R slash ask reddit, people who are 40 plus and happy with their life. What is your advice to people in their 20s? Don't fall for the trap, that your life needs to be one long narrative, that you should be building. Life is best, when it's a bunch of happy moments, that just happen to be connected. Don't try to make your life into a novel, make it a book of poems. Chris Rock said it best, now, people tell you life is short. No, it's not. Life is loom. Especially if you make the wrong decisions. Edit, the point is, you've got time. Don't kill yourself trying to do it all now. When I was in college, I had the chance to go to Europe, but I passed, because I had to work at a warehouse. I picked staying at a part-time warehouse job overseeing the world. When I finally went abroad in my 30s, it changed my perspective about everything and everyone. Go to another country, that is far away, and different than your own. 
So if you watch these videos, a big thing that they do is they only reveal one sentence at a time, which made it really difficult to code for me. <laughs> so the way I made the images was by using a Python library named Pillar. And so I had to break down the comments into separate lines and then write each of those lines to the picture and save that picture. So only unveiling one sentence at a time meant I had to save different pictures for each sentence. And when I was drawing those lines onto the pictures, you have to break them up at the full stops and the commas, which made actually getting those individual lines quite difficult. Well, realistically, it wasn't that hard, but it was just complicated, especially when you've got a small brain like me. When there's like multiple full stops or like commas in one sentence, it doesn't really work very well, but whatever, it works good enough for me. But that's not it. A really important part for YouTube videos is that each video has to have a thumbnail. This is basically the picture you see before you actually click on the video. And if it doesn't look good enough for people to click it, then the YouTube videos won't get views. And since I don't really want to make them myself either, I've also written some code so I can create this basically automatically. So normally there's two main parts to these thumbnails. There's the text and there's the image. The text is normally the question that's actually being answered in the video. And the image is some kind of cartoon or whatever that relates to the question. And then some of the text is highlighted and there's a border, but that doesn't really matter. It's basically a text in the image. So when I'm making this thumbnail with the code, it asks me what text I want to include, and I'll just write out the question myself. And if I put percentage signs before, it will highlight those words. Then it will ask me to choose an image, and it will search that on Bing, and download like 50 pictures that relate to that. And it will continuously show me some pictures until I choose one that I want. Which, to be honest, kind of takes ages to do, and it's kind of annoying. And it would be better if it give you whatever, but I'm just lazy with the code, I can't be asked. So here's our thumbnail for this video. So I'm going to upload this video now. Let's go. Alright, so our latest video in the first 23 hours has got 20 views. But I started looking at other people's videos and I realized a few things. Basically, their first question is always bigger than the other ones. So I've made this like more bold. And then I got rid of the outline that was there because that just looked crap. Kind of ruined it in a way. So now this is what the first question looks like, and then the second one made it so they all start lower as well, so they're more in the center of the screen. And then I changed the transition so it was less intense and it's short, so the audio is quieter and it's like more grayscale. So that's what it is. Alright, so I've been uploading for about a week now, and we're not really getting many views. And I've had a look at the other channels again, and I realised their thumbnails are much better than ours. So I thought it'd be better off if I just make each of the thumbnails custom made myself. Because although it's nice having this code that makes our thumbnails for us, and it does save me a lot of time, the thumbnails don't come out very well. And realistically, I think it's going to be hard to make some code that actually makes good thumbnails. Especially getting the right image and framing it right with the text is something that you normally do by eye it's going to be hard to actually do that well with code. So from here on out, I'm just going to use Photoshop and make each thumbnail myself. All right, I got sick of making the videos each day, so I've made it more automatic than it used to be. Because obviously before you'd have to select the thread and choose which comments go in there. But I can't be asked to do that anymore so the code does that for me as well. So what it does now is it goes through all the threads, finds one it hasn't made a video about before. And it does that by saving the IDs into a text file. And then it makes sure the average comments are a certain length, chooses the comments to put in there, and then finishes making the video. So this does mean that each video is going to be lower quality because the comments aren't actually chosen by a person. So they can't choose which ones are good or not. But I don't think that really matters that much. So I'm just going to go this way because it's much easier. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present a man not caring. Alright guys, I don't have good news. The channel still hasn't been doing very well, and so I did a little bit more research, and I came across this video. So it's basically somebody else who had the same idea as me, to make one of these bots and then make a channel for it. And in this video, he goes through exactly how he made his own bot, and then reveals a GitHub link for the bot that he made. So all this time that I spent coding the bot was essentially wasted. Because I could have just went and found this video and then downloaded the code for myself. And he pretty much did it in the same way as me, but he made a GUI and he had some extra features, and to be honest it's there. And there's a bunch of people in the comments that have also had the same idea, and they've taken his code, and they've made their own channels. And if you look at these, they haven't done well either. And I knew these videos were saturated anyway, but holy shit they're saturated. There's so many people that have realised what these guys are doing and I wanted to capitalise on it too. And 
Although I didn't expect anything to actually happen with this channel, I did not realise how bad it actually would be. And if you think about it, there's basically hundreds of channels that are making the same videos over the same as Reddit comments. So only the best ones who have been doing it for the longest time are actually going to get views. And maybe there's a way I can differentiate this channel, but I don't think I have the creativity for that. And I don't really want to reduce myself to head on this. And that's not it. I also came across this guy who's made this video and in it, it basically says how hard it is to monetize these videos. In YouTube's terms and conditions, they basically say you can't put ads on repetitive content. And they classify these types of videos as repetitive content. And these already established, older, bigger channels have made their way around it because they're part of networks. These networks give you other ways to get ads and managers and other perks like that. But because they're part of these networks, they're able to get ads on their videos. And they don't want to let these similar channels join the network because they know it's against the terms of service and they don't want to ruin the money they're making from these other guys. But yeah, these big guys are all part of the small circle that can actually make money over it. And these all hundreds of other channels that are trying to do the same wouldn't even be able to make money from it anyway. So I'm not in a good place right now. But I'm going to hold it out to the end of the month just because I promised myself I would do that. And then we'll see what happens. Let's go. Guys, I'm a failure. I've tried this for about a month and it's really not working out. We have some views and we have went up in subscribers, but realistically, not much has happened. So I'm sorry it didn't really get anywhere if you're disappointed by that. But I wasted my time mostly. And if you've ever had this idea, just like me, I've tried it so you don't have to. And just to end the channel on a nice note, I thought I'd end it on this as Reddit thread. Because at exactly this point, I have completely and utterly stopped caring. But if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more coding videos, hit the subscribe button. And I want to talk to you guys, so maybe leave a comment and I actually maybe won't be as lonely as I currently am. <laughs>